Good afternoon again, everybody. Uh, my name is Joseph Jekong. You can call me Jex. I am Kaisa's basis slash NetWeaver team lead. Um, I have here the discussion now what you can do to prepare your system for S4 HANA conversion. Okay. Early this year, SAP announced that they have extended mainstream maintenance for Visa Suite 7 core applications. Those include um, ERP, SEM, SRM, and so on. From 2025 to 2027. And, and to add to that, they said that they will also offer extended maintenance until end of 2030. But that is not applicable for all um, SAP Business Suite 7 products. These are only applicable for the latest three EHPs only. For more details, you can go to this SAP note. 2881788. As you can see in my diagram, for the um, EHP 0, as it is called, or EC6 with no EHP up to 5, if you only have until 2025. But for the latest three, again, you have until 2027. After that period, you will already be automatically converted into customer specific maintenance agreement. Okay. Again, more details on this subnote 52505 and this link. But if you are on HP 6 to 8, you are given an optional extended maintenance of three years up to 2030. Beyond that, everybody will be on customer specific maintenance. If you are on this um, customer specific maintenance, you will be receiving no updates, no legal changes, no patches, nothing. Um, you, SAP will still support you, but will only support known issues. They will not develop fixes just to address your issues that are not on their current bug or um, knowledge base list. Should you want to avail the optional extended maintenance, you will be charged an additional fee on top of your normal maintenance fee. Okay, so given this extension, customers now have more time to prepare for S4 HANA conversion, but why not start now? Let me discuss to you how you can prepare your system for conversion what are the available tools that you can use? One, the first one is the BSR or the Business Scenario Recommendations Report. This report gives you a deep dive on your lines of businesses, your ERP systems, what, um, uh, what areas or fields, industries, your systems are mainly used for. It comes in two versions, the classic one and the new one, or next generation 2.0 BSR. You use classic BSR if you want to convert to S4H 1809 or the lower ones, and you use 2.0 if you want to convert to 1909 onwards. Prerequisites for classic, you only have to ask your basis guys to extract a report from P code ST03N of your system. But for 2.0, you have to ask your basis guys, basis team, to implement SAP notes 2758146 and 2745851. After implementing these two SAP notes, your team, basis team, will now execute and extract the reports. Now, the reports extracted from this one, from SC03N or from this, will be uploaded to s4hana.com. By the way, this site also gives you more details about the BSR. And now, after five working days or within five working days, SAP will give you this report free of charge. 
if you have a partner, you can also ask them to upload for you. But the report will be emailed to you directly by SAP. BSR will help you craft your story to help convince your bosses why you need to move to S4HANA, S4HANA because it will also give you some use cases where S4HANA will benefit your industry, your company the most. The next one is FAR or Fiori Apps Recommendations Report. Okay, I'm sure not all of you have now heard about Fiori, but sometimes the question is, what Fiori apps do I need? Do I really need Fiori? Or how do I get information about Fiori? Now, this FAR report will give you um, recommendations for Fiori apps that you can use based on your usage of key codes it has three versions. One is for SAP ERP, using your current database, or if you are already on SAP HAN as database, or SOH. Another one is if you are already planning to go to, e to S for HANA from ERP, but you don't know what to tell your partner or your implementing team, what as for what Fiori apps you will need. The third one is if you're already on S4 HANA and you haven't yet used Fiori, you're still using the GUI, this report will help you decide or determine which are the most suitable for you, again, based on your usage. How to avail this? You only have to extract the report from SD03N and upload it to scp.com slash FAR. You will only have to wait also five business days or less to get the report, just like BSR. If you want, you can also go to the Fiori Apps Library using this link, which is a self-service version of FAR. It's self it is self-service because you can choose what industry, what backend product, let's say ERP 6, EHP 8, or EHP 7, or S4HANA 1503, 1511, 1709. And then from there, you will see, you will search using your, let's say, search for accounting, accounting theory um, applications. And then you will see there, the prerequisites to implement those Fiori apps. What versions do you need? I'm sorry, what patches do you need? Or what level? Or if you have other um, prerequisites that you need to meet. Just, just like BSR, FAR is free of charge to customers. The next one, Readiness Check 2.0 gives you an assessment on how ready your current ERP system is for converting to S4HANA. It will give you a dashboard style overview of your areas that you need to work on on your system to be really ready for S4HANA. These areas include um, your custom codes, your data, by data, I mean which data will be affected when you convert to S4HANA because there's a section here called the simplification list. It will tell you how this SI list will affect your transactions, your master data, or what changes you have to do in advance. Because if you don't prepare this stuff in advance, it will um, impact the duration of your S4HANA conversion process. You can run this as long as you are on ERP6. Any EHP level will do. You will run SAP Note 275-8146 
and then um, you will be running some execution reports, report extraction reports, okay? Um, and then you will upload those files to sap.com slash readiness check. Or if you have um, an account in the marketplace, you can use your SID, go to Launchpad, and then there's a there's a button there you, where you were upload, you were click for this check, and then there's a um, button there that you can use. And then you will identify which um, email addresses or SIDs can access the reports. Example, you want to give access to your partners so that they can have an idea of what needs to be done on your system and give you advice and help or help you plan for the activities. Another one is custom code scoping. One of the troubles that people have during S4HANA conversion is that they need to convert their custom code, but they do not know which ones. It's, it's normal to have a lot of custom code on your systems. The trouble is identifying which ones to prioritize, which ones to um, decommission or disregard during the conversion, or which ones really need revisions. What you can do is activate the ABAP call monitor or SCMON or usage procedure log, UPL, to find out which of your custom ABAP objects are really being utilized. SCMON is the newer version. Actually, this is one that SAP recommends more because it also gives you an idea of the calling processes for the ABAP programs not just the usage or the frequency. If you have Solman 7.2, you can use it. You can activate SEMON there so it can monitor your satellite systems. Um, you also have to run a, cer a certain report here so that the data will be collected and aggregated by the system because otherwise uh, they will be um, lost after a certain period of time. Since uh, this um, report collects data, we recommend that you run this maybe a year in advance of your planned conversion timeline so that it, the system will have um, at least one year data of the frequently used ABAP programs, custom ABAP programs. Okay. Sample timeline. Now, this is a sample of a roadmap that you can adopt for your conversion to S4HANA. We are here, 2020. If you don't have Solman yet, 7.2, Solman 7.2 yet, you can start installing it next quarter. Typically, Installation takes about 15 days because Solma 7.2 has two instances, an ABAP and a Java instance. And then if your Solma is already stable, maybe next quarter you can implement SCMON so that if it's done by the end of the year, 2020, it will collect the data of your custom app or programs from the next, from the following year and onwards. Okay. Next, remember earlier I said that SAP will only be giving the the deadline. Sorry, SAP will have will extend its deadline to 2030 only for the latest three AHPs. If you are not yet on the latest EHPs, latest three, six, seven, and eight, you can use the time next year to upgrade to EHP eight. And if you will also take note of SAP's wordings, latest three EHP 
versions, it's possible that they will release an EHP 9 or EHP 10 in the next couple of years. We don't know. We don't know for certain. So it's best that we upgrade to the most recent available one, which now is EHP 8. In the sample timeline, I give it one year because, of course, your users will take time to familiarize themselves with SAP's EHP 8. And maybe you still need time to stabilize your system, make these additional adjustments before you can finally say that, okay, we are now stable on EHP 8. And then after maybe three, two years, or maybe even one year, you can now start requesting for the reports that I mentioned earlier. First quarter, you can request for BSR to help you prepare a script for your, for your pitch to your bosses to be your business case. And then the following quarter, you can also request for FAR. Okay. Technically, you can also request FAR and BSR at the same time, because if you remember, for classic BSR and, and for FAR, they have the same requirement. I'm just giving um, several months of uh, interval for the request so that you have time to, um, how do we put it, to deep dive into the report that you have received. By the way, there's no limit to the number of BSRs that you can request on FARs, as far as we know. And also take note that BSRs and FARs are, a snap, are um, analysis of a snapshot. So you might also want to consider the timing if you really think that Q1 is better to request BSR because you will be getting data from the past month, December, which is closing or maybe you want to move it to quarter two because some of your transactions might not be done yet by, by quarter one. And then um, before end of the year, you can also already request for the, for the readiness check report so that um, you, will, you will have a better understanding now of what needs to be done to your system and prepare another roadmap for the actual SAP S4 HANA conversion. The rest here is up to you beyond this year. So again, this is just a sample. So I wish you all good luck in your planning for S4HANA conversion.